Whenever I come across one of Apple's AirPod commercials, I find myself immediately swept up in a wide range of emotions. Anger, because it reminds me of Apple's new infuriating headphone jack that doesn't work with anything else and won't let you charge your battery simultaneously. Relief at the promise of no more tangled cables. But surprisingly, I find myself mainly saddened at the idea of losing the intimate connection that comes from sharing headphones with another person. When I was in school, I remember sharing headphones with girls I had a crush on at one time or another, our shoulders rubbing together, fumbling to make eye contact with each other as the headphones connected us with the music. There's a thrill and electricity that comes with sharing headphones. And I think a lot of that has to do with both parties entering into each other's intimate space. The distance surrounding a person forms a space, and this space affects behavior, communication, and social interactions. The study of humans' use of space and the effects it has on emotions is called proxemics. In his book, The Hidden Dimension, cultural anthropologist Edward T. Hall defines proxemics as the interrelated observations and theories of humans' use of space as a specialized elaboration of culture. He goes on to describe the horizontal interpersonal distances that we all live in every day, breaking it down into four distinct zones, public distance, social distance, personal distance, and intimate distance. These four zones range from larger audiences, as in the case of a speech or a lecture, to romantic relationships and our closest friends and family. Sight, heat from the other person's body, sound, smell, and feel of the breath all combine to signal unmistakable involvement with another body. This is the distance of lovemaking and wrestling, comforting and protecting. Physical contact, or the high possibility of physical involvement, is uppermost in the awareness of both persons. This close proximity is reserved for the closest and most intimate relationships we have. And since an average set of headphones stretches approximately 27 inches, both parties automatically enter into each other's intimate distance zone. Besides close proximity, sharing headphones allows us to offer glimpses into our personality via our taste in music, and it allows us to share in a mutual experience, which helps connect both parties together physically and emotionally. Certain films and television shows are able to capture this shared intimacy between the characters so effectively. The closeness, the glances, the vulnerability, the tension. Advancements in technology are wonderful and help improve our daily lives, but there's also the fear of our collective culture becoming more isolated and separated from each other. That's the true beauty of sharing headphones. It wasn't a shared intimacy created in spite of technology, but because of technology. It connected people in a unique and tangible way. I'm thankful for those beautiful moments of nostalgia in my life, and even today, getting to share an earbud with my wife, shoulder to shoulder as we listen to a song or watch a movie. I just hope that future generations won't lose this special way of connecting to someone through music with a single pair of headphones. Entertain the Oak puts out two new videos a month, so if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe below. That way you don't miss out on any new content whenever it drops. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with a friend, comment below. A lot of people have been asking me to make a video on the day South Park died, and in case you missed the announcement I made a couple videos back, I'll remind you again that as soon as I reach $250 on Patreon, I will make that video as a reward. So if you're able to uh, donate financially, please go to my Patreon page. I'll have a link below so you can go check it out. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Have a happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.